Today, an inquiry into the NHS blood scandals, hearing the last of the testimonies from people affected. Not just the numbers of people that have been affected, infected, but the numbers of those who have been left behind. Widows, parents, children of those who have been infected. We're talking thousands and thousands of people. Andrew Evans from Evesham is one of the victims who's given evidence. The lead in an infected blood inquiry who's from Coventry is told Hearts one victim dies every four days. While all of this goes on, the victims, the families, campaigners are still pressing the government to establish a compensation panel. Jason Evans founded Factor 8, set up in light of his dad dying after being infected with contaminated blood in the 80s. Victims are finishing giving evidence in the inquiry. Today, an inquiry into the NHS blood scandals, hearing the last of the testimonies from people affected. Not just the numbers of people that have been affected, infected, but the numbers of those who have been left behind. Widows, parents, children of those who have been infected. We're talking thousands and thousands of people. Andrew Evans from Evesham is one of the victims who's given evidence. The lead campaigner in a national infected blood inquiry has told Haas the emphasis now is on getting compensation. One victim dies every four days. All of the main opposition parties signed a letter some months ago saying that they would all support that compensation panel. Jason Evans from Coventry lost his dad at the age of nine after he was infected with hepatitis C and HIV. It's the last day of victim testimony at the inquiry into the NHS blood scandal. Today, an inquiry into the NHS blood scandals, hearing the last of the testimonies from people affected. Not just the numbers of people that have been infected, but the numbers of those who have been left behind. Widows, parents, children of those who have been infected. We're talking thousands and thousands of people. Andrew Evans from Evesham is one of the victims who's given evidence. It's the last day of victim testimony at an inquiry into the NHS blood scandal today. Andrew Evans from Evesham is a victim and campaigner for tainted blood. It was a very cathartic experience. I've told my story lots before, but this was the first time really that I felt that people were actually listening who could do something about it. It's the last day of victim testimony at an inquiry into the NHS blood scandal today. Andrew Evans from Evesham is a victim and campaigner for tainted blood. It was a very cathartic experience. I've told my story lots before, but this was the first time really that I felt that people were actually listening who could do something about it.